Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, this is a quite a serious poem. It's about international development. Riveting, <laughs> They say we're competing for scarce resources. But my imagination is infinite. At the same time, they chat about the artistry of the peasants. Well, look who's been having archery lessons and knife sharpening sessions. It only needs them to start asking questions out of class, charting your gestures and ceasing to confuse mastery with presence. And you're going to require an exit strategy. You won't accept it happily. You expected apathy, told us we wouldn't be protected without your antiseptic savagery. You're the elected category, in control, except when there's tragedy. Any attempt to avoid the effect of your fallacy, you'll tear apart again. Supported by the truths of the free market men, who say that solution is in the barter for yen, and don't care what Amartya Sen and them from Kerala can. Well, here's your starter for ten. Development is not about wealth, but agency. GNP growth is not a cure for bad health and vagrancy. The sufferers are not the ones in cycling shorts, hiding behind plasma screens and ironing boards, whilst you're likening lords to phronimos, finger in arse, propagating frightening thoughts, restraining resilience, chaining civilians, simulating stimulants with creatively distraining with creatively draining distractions whilst separating citizens from disdaining factions, segregating dissidents, delaying action and disseminating dividends. And saying that we're competing for resources. But what cannot be divided cannot be scarce. Would you truly deny the unity of existence with your dualistic construction of force and resistance? You may seek to split material resource and distance, but compassion and fraternity are not bounded territory. Mm. Knowledge is fluid. Happiness cannot be held by hands. Vision and aspiration cannot be mapped. Influence shall not be known. Don't pretend that preemption and primacy provides adequate redemption of a dynasty. You are beyond contention. Finally, outside the extension of your piety, you will die miserably and cruelly with no comprehension of your society. Thank you.